Well, coming up now, it's time for the women's compound individual bronze medal match. And what a lineup we have. And waiting in the wings, Denmark will take on the USA. Tanya Jensen of Denmark up against Alexis Ruiz of the USA. And uh, let's have a look at how these athletes got here. Jensen shooting uh, 701 in the ranking round, ranked fourth. Ruiz a 699 to be ranked sixth. Tight match in the quarterfinals for Jensen. And then losing out to a key star performer at the moment, Colombia's very own Sarah Lopez. And as you can see at Ruiz, pipped to the post by Jody Vermeulen of the Netherlands in the semi finals. So these two face off. One more chance to get a medal here in Medellin. So they're waiting in the wings. Let's go to the red carpet and welcome the athletes out for the women's individual bronze medal match on Compound Saturday. Señoras y señores, por favor, den la bienvenida a los atletas al cup para la medalla de bronce en la categoría de arco compuesto femenino individual. En la diana número uno, representando a Dinamarca, Tania Janssen. En la diana número dos, representando a Estados Unidos y América, Alexis Ruiz. Oh, there we go, the athletes out on the field of play. Jensen shooting on target one. Ruiz on target two, and we got a good view of their stats throughout their careers. Average arrow just a little bit higher for Jensen. Mackenzie, what do you fancy here? Um, I think I'm going to go with my teammate. Um, but something interesting to know about the, the stats is that Tanya has been shooting for quite a few seasons on World Archery, and Alexis is pretty new. Well, it is Jensen who will shoot first on target one. Slightly higher average arrow. But it's all been about the start here in Medellin. Yep, right there. Three arrows uh, apiece in the individual competition, shot alternatively. But uh, cumulative score is what it's all about. Yep. And a good correction there from the Danish archer. Yep, right there. Good job. Nice shoot. Keep it rolling. You're good. Yep. It's like the first two. Well, she was on for a perfect 30, but dropped that one into the eight. Uh, Jensen sneaking at the first end. So with a, an individual match, there are five ends. So I think there's a little bit more time to pick up a couple of points here and there. So uh, this might be where our, our theory of the first end changes up. But then again, I'm still trying to root for Team USA here. Not impartial at all. No, not even a little bit. Kenzie Brown there. The USA's Olympic archer from Rio 2016. Here is Ruiz's uh, last arrow. And you just saw the little grimace. There's often a telltale sign on the face of the archer as they release the arrow. You know at 50 meters that it's either a great one or not such a great one. Yeah, usually if there's like a comfortable face or just a, the same face, they're going to have a good shot. And the grimace is kind of a, like you said, a telltale sign of good shot. Well, Ruiz trailing will shoot first in the second end. Yep. Yes. In the bottom side of the field, so you're good. Oh, power, Lee, Moskiu. Okay. 
Very good. Perfect shot right there. I love it. Fast play. Just like that. Response there from the American. At the very worst, she's claimed back the point, but uh, Jensen needs a 10 here to keep the scores even. Oh, almost tickling the spider there. 58 plays 58. Mackenzie, the wind just picked up a little bit. Yeah, and it's switching sides. We had before this morning from right to left, and it's still a headwind, but it's coming from left to right now, um, and it's still right there around three, three meters per second. So if you're on the shooting line, you're shooting your third arrow of the, uh, the, the end, and the winds change directions, we look here at uh, those close arrows, look at that one. That is so exceptionally close to being spot on in the center. What's this? 0 0.02 centimeters from the center. That's two mil, two millimeters. Center, brilliant, brilliant arrow, that one. As a uh, fact, we're gonna look back at this one. Under pressure. What pressure, she says. But if you're, if you're on your third arrow uh, and you've shot two and the wind has changed direction, one, one, can you feel it? And two, how do you adjust? How do you make the adjustment? We absolutely do feel it. That's something that you train for is feeling the wind and feeling it shift. Um, but right before you draw up your bow, you're looking at that sock, you're looking at the indicator, and you're trying to make the best judgment call you can. And effectively, that's every single arrow. So if the wind every changes di direction, does really make a difference to your process? Yep, absolutely. Well, all level here in the bronze medal match. Tanya Jensen from Denmark to shoot first in the third. Grouping, incredible. That's dropped a little bit lower uh, into the nine, but uh, yeah. the, the grouping of all her arrows have been exceptionally yeah. close. It seems yeah, like all of the, sort of or most everyone, they're their mistakes are low. They're out the bottom, not not many out the top. Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, there you go now, Alexis, just like you've been doing. Bit of a longer hold. Oh, oh, she had a little bit of shake in that front arm. Might have just gone a little bit longer than she wanted to on a release, but yeah, still managed a nine, which is good for this match. Yep. Yeah. There you go, Alexis. Nice strong shot now. You got this here. Well, the 10 required from Ruiz. Keeps level, oh, and she duly accepts the challenge. 87 apiece, and nothing between the two. Getting nervous there, McKenzie? I'm not nervous at all. No, I, I, one thing I do want to mention is I am rooting for Alexis because she's my teammate, but Tanya is actually a good friend. She comes to a lot of the U.S. tournaments and she's always really nice to talk to. So a lot of the, the U.S. teammates are very used to her presence. There's a great deal of respect between you top international archers. You Absolutely. go out on the field of play, go head to head, but uh, all friends afterwards. And, here we look at uh, the arrows from the last end. Like I said, those mistakes are all in the same area. Yeah, low and left now. The wind is almost nothing down there based on the windsock. Yeah, it is changing direction. Uh, every time we look down at the sock, it's uh, blowing in a different direction. End four of the bronze medal match here in Medellin. Yep. And a great start from Tanya Jensen. Right at the bottom, good one or two down. We're, we're okay going down one. One clear. Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, nice Well, the first arrow was marked as a 10, and then it's been adjusted to a 9 with an asterisk. So we will go to a measure at the conclusion of this end. Perfect 10. Oh, just sneaking out to the right there, a 29. 
for Jensen. A 10 required from Ruiz to draw level. Subject to the yep, measure. Right That's good. Gets the 10. Now the measure, all important here. That first arrow, if it gets marked up, means Ruiz has claimed the lead going into the final end. So target two. Ten, ten, nine. Okay, so we stay tied here. Um, one thing that Mel told Alexis while she was up on the on the line after her first shot, it was a little low, and he said it's okay. You can, you can take a click here. So I think uh, Alexis has a lot of practice with Mel. He's her personal coach, and so he knows how she shoots. He knows his her equipment. She know, he knows what what's going on here. So he's talking her through some of this stuff, keeping her encouraged, and, and helping her out. Yeah, not bad having your uh, personal coach away with you on international duty. So the confirmation of a score still tied. Ruiz oh, had her fingers crossed for that first arrow to be marked up to a 10. Uh, just looking down. Uh, to the targets here. I think uh, they've actually been placed and they've actually changed the targets. The agent's just running back with uh, the arrows from the previous end, which is why we've got this little delay. So the reason why you would change a target face is if some of the line is missing so that the judges can better call these arrow values. Well, here we go. The bronze medal match in the women's individual compound here on Saturday in Medellin. And it's all level going in to the final end. Very close arrow. I think it'll be called a 10, but I think that should be called by a judge. It's been marked up as a 10. Alexis Ruiz to shoot next. And now Grimace again. Again, these are going left when they aren't going right. Yep. Yes, sir. Nice strong shot. Here you go. You got this. Go in a Yep. X right there. Very beautiful. Good correction there in the X. Mackenzie, you called it. That uh, first arrow from Jensen is going to go to a measure. Oh. Hey, Alexis, make this your shot. You got this. Like that shot in it. It's an eight asterisk, but I think that one might be out. So a really important Money. measure at a really important time. Alexis Ruiz doing uh, everything required of her. She gets a 145, and we are convinced we know the final score for Tanya Jensen. I think she is, though. I think she knows that she might get one point back, but I think that's going to be the lot. A very close match, very impressive shooting from both archers. Yeah, so as things stand, subject to the confirmation from the target judges, Alexis Ruiz has taken bronze here in Medellin, but we do have to wait for that confirmation. She looks happy enough with the result. Judges called it. And there we have it. And she is the winner. She has taken the bronze medal. Alexis Ruiz is the Medellin women's individual compound bronze medalist. And taking a medal at stage one of the 2019 Hyundai Archery World Cup is a big thing for this young lady. I think that face says it all.